Chinese for Kawai from USM and I'm the team leader of MY028. So for information nowadays, more and more industries are actually using embedded real-time control communication system in their industrial applications. And why this happened? This is because embedded control system offers flexibility as well as reduced wiring complexity. And in this project, we are actually interfaced between FPGA and Arduino via Ethernet. And why Ethernet protocols is selected instead of CAN or CAN open protocols that is widely used in the industrial application nowadays. This is because Ethernet can support high speed LAN at 10 megabit per second, 100 megabit per second, even up to 1 gigabit per second. Basically, the embedded real time communication system involves hardware and software design. The first step of this system design is the element of the robotic arm. Software such as MATLAB and SOLIDWORKS are used to design the robotic arm and run the simulation of the overall design. Then, parts of the design robotic arm are fabricated by using 3D Binder and assembled together. Next step is the development of embedded Ethernet controller. This Ethernet controller is used to generate data and control data transmission from our data D to FPGA board to Arduino Mega board. Set out of Ethernet controller and its control operations are performed via Quartus 2 software. Lastly, with the use of Arduino Ethernet shield, Arduino board is configured as a receiver to receive data transmitted from FPGA board. The robot arm will perform its operation upon receiving data from FPGA. So, for the project demonstration, this is overall hardware interface in our project. This is our data DU2 FPGA board. This is a design DU1 property arm with 3 degrees of freedom. This is Arduino Mega and on top of it is Arduino Ethernet Shield. This is D-Link used to switch the signal. This is the Wireshark software that we use to observe the transmission of data packet to Arduino. This is Arduino serial monitor used to observe the data packet from FPGA. So when the first push button is being pressed, it actually sends 500 bytes of data to Arduino. We can see from the Wireshark software, the source address of the FPGA and the destination address of the Arduino and the 500 bytes of data being sent. And then we can see the result from the Arduino serial monitor window, 500 bytes of data is to received. And the data packet is less than 1200 bytes, the robot arm is deactivated. So, when the second push button is being pressed, it actually sends 1000 bytes of data to Arduino. And we can see from the Wireshark software, 1000 bytes of data is sent to Arduino. And then the, from the Arduino serial monitor, we can see 1000 bytes is received, and the robot arm is still deactivated since the data byte is still less than 1200 bytes. And when the third push button is being pressed, it actually prompt the robot arm operation to pick and place an object from one location to another. This is because we set what, when the data packet is greater than 1200 bytes, it actually prompt the operations. And we can see from the Wireshark software, 1200 bytes of data is actually being sent. And from the Arduino serial monitor, 1200 bytes of data is being received. And greater than 1200 bytes of data packet, the robot arm is activated. The same goes to what push button is being pressed. It actually prompts the operation of the robot arm as well because the data packet size is greater than 1200 bytes. And we can see from the Wireshark software, it actually sending 1468 bytes of data to Arduino. And from Arduino serial monitor, we actually can see that the Arduino received 1468 bytes and then the robot arm is activated. In conclusion, we can say that an approach for low cost and deterministic real time control communication is designed and developed in this project, in which we enable FPGA board to communicate with robotic arm via Ethernet. Furthermore, the interface between Altera DE to FPGA board. Arduino Mega and Arduino Ethernet Shield is achieved. In another words, we can say that an embedded Ethernet controller for robotics is developed in this project.